As Canada deals with a surge in COVID-19 cases, we can learn from countries who are ahead of us in this outbreak. Extensive testing, isolating those who are sick and their contacts, and physical distancing are crucial to suppressing the spread of the virus. Wait too long to do that, and it's too late. As Eric Sorensen reports, this is a crucial time for Canada. Germany's chancellor learned weeks ago the importance of keeping apart. Staying off the streets was adopted early in Germany, and testing is big. While Canada reached 120,000 tests this week, Germany is testing 120,000 every week. We detected it early, says this senior health official, because we tested it early. 43,000 Germans have contracted COVID-19, but with remarkably low mortality. One death for every 200 cases, half the rate in this country. Canadian doctors are learning from countries with even just a few more weeks' experience. We have set up a specific social media group uh, where we exchange any new information that we come across. But I think we're in a dynamic situation where uh, we're forced to treat and learn at the same time. It's a crucial time for this country to stay on top of the outbreak. The critical period of days is measured after a country reaches 100 confirmed cases. Canada reached that date on March the 11th. Since then, the cases have surged past 1,000, 2,000, towards 3,000. And the curve is bending upwards. Japan has done a better job than most countries of flattening the curve, attributed by some to a mask-wearing, obedient population. Other countries have been at this much longer. Canada has a fraction of the number of cases of China, which is over 80,000. South Korea managed to bend the curve down with a massive testing program to below 10,000. Italy didn't get started soon enough. Same thing for Spain, and maybe most worrying of all is the United States. All of these are arcing upwards, which suggests that cases are doubling more quickly. The goal for Canada, then, is to get Canadians to stay home and bend that curve downward over these next critical weeks. Whether Japanese diligence or South Korean thoroughness, being rigorous makes a difference. The path ahead for Canada remains uncertain. Our pandemic infection rate is still growing exponentially uh, in Ontario and, uh, and in all of Canada. Over the next two weeks, hopefully we'll start to see that the rate of increase is slowing, uh, which would indicate that the social distancing measures are working. Canadians may yet need to take more measures, but we have the experience of other countries to show what works and what doesn't. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto. The race is on across the world to come up with rapid test kits, treatments and a vaccine for COVID-19. As Heather Urex West reports, they could be game changers in this pandemic. Researchers in New York have significantly advanced the science that will help the world fight back against COVID-19. It's important because we can now actually identify individuals who already have had COVID-19 and are immune to it. When people get infected, the immune system reacts and the immune system produces what we call antibodies. And these are chemical substances in your body that can attack the invading germ. A team at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai has developed a blood test that can detect whether people have antibodies to COVID-19 in their blood. It's a critical development for a number of reasons. It'll give us a handle on who was exposed and who wasn't. So if this virus comes back in a second or third wave, we'll know who is unprotected and who's protected. We know that not everyone infected with COVID-19 has symptoms, so an antibody test is the only way of determining who's been exposed and who's now immune. This is a vital tool, particularly when it comes to identifying those with immunity within the health system. These people can actually treat critically ill patients. Um, They can treat patients who are contagious, so they don't have any risk of infection. Having this test may also help with treatment. Some patients who have recently recovered from COVID-19 have blood rich with antibodies, and this blood, known as convalescent plasma, can be used to treat up to two other patients who may be critically ill. On Thursday, New York's Mount Sinai Hospital announced it's now using the therapy to treat COVID-19 patients in its ICU. It's very exciting as a virologist to be able to contribute in a time like this. The New York researchers are now sending the protein used for their test to labs around the world, hopeful their work can lead to the next big advancement in the race to stop the spread of COVID-19. Heather at Urex West, Global News, Calgary. Jeff will continue to consult with experts and try to answer your questions. Send them to yourquestions at globalnews.ca. And on our website, you'll find a special page dedicated entirely to COVID-19. That's at globalnews.ca slash coronavirus.